the planet Earth is enveloped by a thin cocoon of magic. The atmosphere around us is a flower in which life blossoms. It is said that the bird's tears contain healing abilities of purity and their cry is that of a beautiful song. Not too far from the myth lies the magical reality. Our journey with birds today promises to surprise with East Africa's very own Harry the Hornbill Houdini, enchant with the strings of the New Orleans Jazz and spellbind with the Arctic flight of the Hooper Swans. Join us as we ride the wings of the winds and uncover the magic of nature. A bird's egg is an amazing and magical device. And it's within an egg's shell that one of nature's most miraculous transformations takes place. This hen's egg was fertilized on a Monday. It's not yet Sunday and already as you can see, the heart is beating and blood is pumping throughout the growing embryo. It takes only 15 days for a patch of cells on top of the yolk to develop into feathers, claws, an egg tooth to crack the shell with and finally, after 21 days, into a little chick. A pregnant human woman would have difficulty running very far but by laying eggs, birds can fly throughout their reproductive cycle. The largest egg in the world is produced by the ostrich. A single egg can weigh up to one and a half kilograms. That's breakfast for 27. But the largest clutches, up to 20 eggs each, are laid by waterfowl. Life, it's the greatest magic of all. Now, we visit East Africa, where there's a bird that has its own Harry Houdini act. Harry Houdini was a magician who specialized in trapping himself into tiny confined spaces and then escaped. Trapped inside this Tanzanian rainforest tree is a nesting female hornbill, imprisoned of her own free will. She will spend four months in her prison only to break free and bring forth a new generation of her offspring. That's some trick. But first, let's look at the hornbill's world. They have many small tricks in their repertoire. That beak must have a secret compartment somewhere, right? Wrong. They can actually hold 50 or so fruits in their gullet and regurgitate them one by one. The hornbill's food gathering also plays a role in regenerating the forest. The amazing trick is that they actually disperse the seeds of nearly a quarter of all tropical trees. That is a stunning trick indeed. Hornbills aren't endangered and in this forest there are many pairs, the males traveling to and from their nests. Hornbills are very faithful and once they've paired up, they stay together all their lives. Once they find a suitable nesting site, the female settles down for a long and elaborate magic trick. But now for the big trick, the one we've been waiting for. She will disappear for 120 days. How will she do it? What will she eat? And how will she survive? And most importantly, why does she do this extreme magic? First, the how. The male builds a wall of mud over the tree hole entrance. Then, the what. This wall is to protect her from predators, but there is a slit just wide enough to pass food through. He brings her food several times a day. It's been estimated that during the four-month nesting period, a male collects around 24,000 fruits, making over 1,600 visits to the nest. A serious amount of work for just one bird. 
hard work coupled with a little love magic, don't you think? Now, the why. She does this extreme act for her offspring. As well as protection from predators, being walled in also provides good insulation for the youngster. At last, the nesting period is over and it's time for the female to leave her tree trunk prison. To make an opening big enough to get through, she has to chip away with her ample bill at the mud which has dried rock hard. She gets no help from the male in this. Although he built the mud wall, he just sits outside watching. It's a tight squeeze. Other females have also broken out. During their incarceration, they have molted. They all have a new set of feathers and the forest is full of their finery. The little chick seems, for the moment, to be forgotten. But it isn't really. The job of feeding the youngster goes on with both parents now taking turns. The chick won't leave until it's ready to fly. And now, it too pulls its own dirty trick, rebuilding the mud wall itself using its own droppings, if you please. So, we leave the East African forest and the greatest escape act in nature. Vultures have the magical ability of telescopic vision. From a height of 2,000 meters, vultures can see the finest detail. There is a patch on the center of their retinas. That's the light sensitive area at the back of the eye, where the cells are so concentrated that their vision is magnified two and a half times. Gliding above the plains searching for carcasses, that part of the eye acts like a spotting scope to find its next meal. Birds that fly above 8,000 meters, birds that travel 35,000 kilometers and birds that fly as fast as Formula One cars and birds that save hundreds of lives. That's the kind of magic birds are capable of. But first, let's throw a number at you. How's 20 million? There's magic in the air. It's late February and the citizens of New Orleans, the jazz capital of the world, are celebrating their famous festival, the Mardi Gras. But there's a sinister charade being performed outside the city. As the party plumes wave in the streets, out in the fields, the red-winged blackbirds form huge aggregations to roost and feed. As the sun sets, a huge number of up to 20 million blackbirds coat the trees. It's sheer magic. The blackbirds seem to dance around to the smooth jazz sounds of New Orleans. How does such a huge mass fly with such amazing grace? Why don't they collide with each other? Is this magic or synchronicity? Not all of nature's riddles are easily unraveled and the blackbird's magical flight remains a mystery to us. What we do know is that there is strength in numbers and the blackbirds use their collective clout as a survival tool to protect themselves against predators. So, to the lilting tunes of New Orleans jazz, the blackbirds perform their magical number. There are feathers for keeping warm and feathers for display. This peacock has the most magical tail in the world. Nothing matches his display. To all the females around, he's saying, Look at me, ladies. Aren't I magnificent? And if you want to have magnificent sons, then you'd better choose me. And that's what the females do, mating with the males that have the most eye spots in their tails. The feathers with a strong central shaft and a short leading edge, the type that old-fashioned quill pens are made from, are for flight. And flight is the best magic trick the birds pull off. These whooper swans have spent the winter in Norfolk, 
on Britain's eastern shore. 